Hello everyone, this is Masoud Khazai and today I'm going to talk about improving hydrophilicity of nanoparticles by modify Solzhel method. You have some options to improve hydrophilicity of nanoparticles by Solzhel method. You can use surfactants microwave radiation you can put two nanoparticles together to make hybrid nanoparticles you can use refrigerating assisted method and also you can change the temperature of calcination and so on in this session i'm going to talk about surfactant assisted method To choose the appropriate surfactant to your target to improve hydrophilicity of nanoparticles, you should familiar with HLB value concept. HLB is abbreviation of hydrophilic lipophilic balance of a surfactant is a major of the degree to which it is hydrophilic or lipophilic. The surfactants are classified in three groups. First, hydrophilic or water soluble, second, water dispersible, and the third one is hydrophobic or oil soluble. The first group include, includes the surfactants with HLB of more than 10. The second group includes the surfactants with HLB of between 6 and 10. And the hydrophobic, hydrophobic group includes surfactants with HLB of lower than 6. I should choose uh, hydrophilic surfactants to improve hydrophilicity with HLB of more than 10. This table shows the HLB values of some common surfactants. Uh, for example, spans, twins, and etc. In this project, I chose twin 80 with HLB of 50. <coughs> I think uh, now you are familiar with Thorgel method and its steps. If you are not, please see Thorgel method synthesis of TiO2 nanoparticles that we uploaded before in the channel. The important point is uh, you should add your surfactant, in this case uh, twin 80, after finishing solution 2 dropwise. And your final product is TiO2 twin 80 nanoparticles. Adsorption of surfactant on the surface of nanoparticles. Two mechanisms are proposed to adsorb of surfactants on the surface of nanoparticles. First, covalent bonding between the surfactants and nanoparticles, and second, electrostatic interactions between the surfactants and nanoparticles. As you know, surfactants have two parts one hydrophilic part and two hydrophobic part and you can see in this uh, schematic illustration the surfactants increase the hydrophilic parts of my nanoparticle and also uh, surfactants increase hydrophilicity of my nanoparticles Now I'm going to compare TiO2 and TiO2 twin 80. We applied the same conditions like aging time and the temperature of calcination and also the same steps to compare these nanoparticles. Two methods were used, first exposing the nanoparticles to humidity and second coating a 
coating two similar surfaces with these nanoparticles and measuring contact angle. First, exposing the nanoparticles to humidity. When the nanoparticles are exposed to humidity, OH groups are generated on the surface of nanoparticles. So if you can uh, compare the amount of these generated OH groups in both of nanoparticles, you can also compare uh, hydrophilicity of these nanoparticles. For this purpose, for this purpose, I applied FTIR analysis. This picture shows FTIR spectrum of A, the blue one TiO2, and B, the red one TiO2 twin 18 nanoparticles after exposing to 95% relative humidity. Please see the OH peaks of these nanoparticles. The OH peak of TiO2 twin 80 is stronger than TiO2. It means uh, <coughs> TiO2 twin 80 has absorbed more H2 molecules in comparison with TiO2 nanoparticles and consequently TiO2 twin 80 is more hydrophilic than TiO2. Second surface wettability measurement. Coated two similar surfaces with nanoparticles aging in nanofluids for two days. Uh, the surface was totally super hydrophobic before coating, and then measuring the contact angle of normal heptane as oil and water droplet on the surfaces. This picture shows our contact angle measuring setup. It includes a camera with micro lens and a glass cell container. Three different concentrations of nanoparticles were prepared 0 0 0.033, 0 0.07, and 0 0.2, three different concentrations of two nanoparticles. As I said before, the surfaces was totally super hydrophobic before coating, and normal heptane droplet contact angle in water environment was zero degree and water droplet contact angle in normal heptane environment was 168 before coating. If you see the values of contact angles, uh, you, can, uh, you can see both of my nanoparticles could change the wettability of surface, wettability of my surfaces from uh, totally super hydrophobic to hydrophilic or super hydrophilic. And also, if you compare the val the contact the values of contact angles in similar concentrations of both, both of nanoparticles. You can see TiO2 twin 80 could change the surface more than TiO2. So TiO2 twin 80 is more hydrophilic than TiO2. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos about nanotechnology and nanoscience and synthesis of nanoparticles, please subscribe us. Bye-bye.